Timeless Life Philosophies Hey there, power enthusiasts! Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of Nicol Machiavelli, a man whose words penned over 500 years ago still echo in the halls of power, shaping the dynamics of the modern world. From secret societies to the manipulation of the masses, Machiavelli's insights have left an indelible mark on history. The Art of Power Unveiling the Secrets of Secrecy and Influence In the realm of power, the very word secrecy has often been perceived as an elusive force, operating in the shadows of a free and open society. It triggers a sense of distrust, conjuring images of covert dealings and hidden agendas. Historically, societies have vehemently opposed the existence of secret societies, oaths, and proceedings viewing them as antithetical to democratic values. In this context, the words of a visionary resonate through time, echoing the sentiments of a people inherently averse to the manipulation of power through clandestine means. As we navigate the intricate landscape of power dynamics, we confront the specter of a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that spans the globe. This clandestine force relies on covert methods to expand its sphere of influence weaving a complex tapestry of military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. The preparations of this intricate system remain concealed, shrouded in secrecy, while its mistakes are buried and dissenters silenced. It operates beyond the public eye, immune to scrutiny, with no expenditure questioned, no rumor printed, and no secret revealed. These words, resonant and cautionary, raise profound questions about the nature of power and the hidden forces that shape our world. They prompt an exploration into the historical context of secrecy and its implications for society. In this light, Machiavelli emerges as a pivotal figure, a philosopher whose works have influenced political thought for centuries. Machiavelli's political legacy, the dual nature of the discourse and the prince. In the Annals of Political Philosophy, Niccolò Machiavelli stands as a towering figure, his intellectual legacy characterized by a dual nature that has shaped the course of history. Born in Florence in 1469, Machiavelli came of age during a time when Italy was a collection of independent city-states vying for power and influence. The Medici family, known for their financial prowess, held sway over Florence until 1492 when King Charles VII of France's invasion marked the end of their rule. This tumultuous period ushered in the birth of the Florentine Republic, and at its helm was the young Machiavelli, elected to the position of Secretary of the Second Chancery at the age of 29. With no prior diplomatic experience, Machiavelli embarked on a journey that would take him across the European continent, observing firsthand the intricacies of power politics. His diplomatic missions, ranging from visits to Italian rulers like Caterina Sforza to encounters with European leaders like King Louis XII and Pope Julius I provided Machiavelli with a wealth of experiences that would later find expression in his writings. Machiavelli's pivotal work, The Prince, remains a controversial guidebook for rulers, offering insights into the acquisition and consolidation of power. Banned by the Catholic Church for over two centuries, the prince delves into the darker aspects of political maneuvering, providing a roadmap for rulers on the ruthless pursuit of authority. In contrast, the Discorsi, another major work by Machiavelli, advocates for a self-governing republic, emphasizing the ideals of civic virtue and the importance of a collective governance system. The dichotomy between the prince and the Discorsi encapsulates Machiavelli's complex worldview. While one work exposes the harsh realities of political power, the other envisions an idealized republic. This duality has sparked debates about Machiavelli's true intentions and the ethical implications of his teachings. Whether seen as a realist laying bare the nature of power or a visionary seeking an ideal political structure, Machiavelli's influence is undeniable, shaping the actions of rulers and the trajectory of nations for centuries. Machiavelli's Early Life and Formative Years To comprehend the profound impact of Machiavelli's writings on the modern world, 
It is essential to delve into the circumstances of his early life and the intellectual milieu in which he matured. Born in 1469 to a family prioritizing classical education in Florence, Machiavelli's upbringing reflected the humanistic ideals of the time. His education in studia, humanitatis, encompassed Latin, grammar, rhetoric, poetry, ancient history, and moral philosophy. These subjects, considered essential for public life, laid the foundation for Machiavelli's intellectual prowess. Italy in the late 15th century was a tapestry of independent city-states, each governed by distinct rulers and competing for dominance. The ascent of the Medici family in Florence marked a period of economic prosperity, transforming the city into a cultural hub under Lorenzo de' Medici's rule. However, accusations of tyranny and corruption tainted the Medici legacy. In 1492, Lorenzo's death and subsequent events led to the downfall of the Medici rule, and Florence embraced a republican form of governance. In this transformative period, Machiavelli's name emerged as a candidate for crucial roles within the newly established Florentine Republic. At the age of 29, with no diplomatic experience, he was elected as Secretary of the Second Chancery, tasked with coordinating correspondence and relations related to Florence's territorial possessions. Simultaneously, Machiavelli assumed the role of Secretary to the Ten of War, overseeing foreign and diplomatic affairs. Over the next 14 years, Machiavelli undertook significant diplomatic missions across Europe, gaining first-hand insights into the mechanisms of power. His journeys included encounters with notable figures like Caterina Sforza, Louis XII of France, Cesare Borgia, and Pope Julius III. These experiences, coupled with lessons drawn from Greek and Roman history, provided Machiavelli with the material to compose The Prince. The Prince, published posthumously in 1532, became a seminal work that transcended its time. Its exploration of statecraft, leadership, and manipulation laid bare the harsh realities of political maneuvering. While some viewed it as a handbook for tyrants, others, like Rousseau and Bacon, recognized its value in exposing the secret tactics of rulers. The impact of the prince reverberates through the corridors of power, influencing leaders across continents and shaping the modern political landscape. Machiavelli's tenure as a diplomat proved pivotal in shaping his political outlook, crystallizing his understanding of the intricate dance of power. His writings reflect the pragmatic realism forged during years of navigating the complex tapestry of European politics. As he traveled from court to court, absorbing the grandeur and machinations of rulers, Machiavelli discerned patterns that transcended the boundaries of time and geography. One of the defining moments in Machiavelli's diplomatic career was his encounter with Cesare Borgia, a man whose ruthlessness and cunning left an indelible mark on the prince. Borgia's unrelenting pursuit of power and his mastery in statecraft captivated Machiavelli, inspiring him to explore the darker aspects of political strategy. Cesare Borgia's ability to manipulate circumstances, consolidate authority, and adapt to the ever-shifting landscape of Renaissance Italy served as a living testament to the principles later expounded in The Prince. In his observations of Borgia and other leaders, Machiavelli recognized the impermanence of power and the necessity for rulers to be adaptive strategists. The political chaos of the time, marked by shifting alliances, betrayals, and military conquests, provided fertile ground for Machiavelli's reflections on the nature of governance. His keen insights into the capriciousness of fortune and the need for leaders to balance vert, strength, skill with fortuna, luck, circumstance, are etched into the fabric of his writings. The intellectual landscape of Machiavelli's formative years also bore witness to the revival of classical thought. The Renaissance, with its revival of interest in Greek and Roman philosophy, literature, and political theory, deeply influenced Machiavelli's worldview. The works of thinkers like Cicero, Livy, and Tacitus left an indelible mark on his political philosophy, manifesting in his emphasis on the practicalities of governance and the harsh realities of political life. Machiavelli's immersion in the classical canon, coupled with his astute observations of contemporary politics, laid the groundwork for the prince and the discoursey. 
His intention, it seems, was not to prescribe a rigid set of rules for rulers, but to equip them with a nuanced understanding of the complex interplay between virtue and necessity. The tension between idealism and realism, democracy and autocracy, is palpable in Machiavelli's writings, reflecting the turbulent times in which he lived. As Florence oscillated between republicanism and Medici rule, Machiavelli found himself at the intersection of shifting political ideologies. His diplomatic career came to an abrupt end in 1512 when the Medici family returned to power, leading to his dismissal and subsequent exile. This period of forced seclusion provided Machiavelli with the time to distill his experiences and observations into the timeless insights that would shape political thought for centuries to come. Machiavelli's early life and formative years were a crucible of intellectual and political transformation. From the corridors of Florentine power to the courts of Europe, he traversed a landscape marked by intrigue, ambition, and the ceaseless pursuit of power. The lessons gleaned from these experiences, coupled with his deep immersion in classical thought, culminated in the creation of works that continue to resonate with leaders and scholars alike, a testament to the enduring relevance of Machiavelli's insights into the art and science of governance. The Legacy of Machiavelli's Political Philosophy Machiavelli's political philosophy, encapsulated in the prints and the discourses, transcends the confines of the Renaissance echoing through the corridors of power and academia across centuries. His departure from traditional moralistic frameworks and his emphasis on pragmatism and real politic marked a paradigm shift in political thought. One of Machiavelli's enduring legacies lies in his recognition of the fluid and unpredictable nature of politics. In The Prince, he dissects the anatomy of power, dissecting the strategies employed by successful rulers his unapologetic acknowledgement of the pragmatic use of force, deceit, and manipulation stirred controversy in his time, but it also laid bare the harsh realities of governance. The Discourses, a more extensive and complex work, delves into the dynamics of republics and the role of civic virtue. Here, Machiavelli explores the idea of mixed government, combining elements of monarchy, aristocracy, and democracy. His advocacy for a citizen-soldier, militia, as the backbone of a stable republic, showcased his nuanced understanding of political structures and the delicate balance required to sustain them. Machiavelli's ideas have not only withstood the test of time, but have also sparked intense debates. Some view him as a cold and calculating proponent of tyranny, while others see him as a keen observer of political reality. Regardless of the interpretation, Machiavelli's influence extends beyond theoretical discourse into the practical realm of statecraft. Leaders throughout history have grappled with Machiavelli's teachings, finding in them both guidance and cautionary tales. From the Medicists to modern heads of state, the pragmatic principles laid out in The Prince have been consulted and at times implemented. The acknowledgement of the role of luck, timing, and the often harsh necessities of political life has provided leaders with a more grounded perspective on governance. Machiavelli's legacy is not confined to the realm of politics alone. His impact extends to fields as diverse as literature, philosophy, and military strategy. The term Machiavellian has become synonymous with political cunning and manipulation, illustrating the enduring influence of his ideas on the cultural consciousness. In the realm of literature, Machiavelli's influence is evident in the works of playwrights like William Shakespeare, particularly in characters such as Richard I.I.I. and Diego. The moral ambiguity and political maneuvering displayed by these characters reflect Machiavellian themes, demonstrating the enduring resonance of his ideas beyond the pages of his own writings. Moreover, Machiavelli's impact on military strategy is noteworthy. His emphasis on the practical aspects of warfare including the importance of a well-trained and disciplined army, echoes in the works of military theorists across centuries. The fusion of political and military considerations in his writings laid the groundwork for a more holistic understanding of statecraft. Machiavelli's political philosophy, born from the tumultuous political landscape of Renaissance Italy, has left an indelible mark on the intellectual, 
and practical realms of governance. His departure from idealistic prescriptions to a more pragmatic and realistic approach has sparked enduring debates and influenced leaders and thinkers across diverse fields. Machiavelli's legacy continues to shape the discourse on power, morality, and the intricate dance of politics, proving the timelessness of his insights into the complexities of governance. Machiavellianism in Modern Politics As the pages of history turned and societies evolved, Machiavelli's influence persisted, permeating the fabric of modern politics. The Machiavellian approach found fertile ground in the tumultuous landscape of the 20th and 21 centuries, shaping the strategies of leaders and nations. The Cold War era, characterized by ideological confrontations between the Eastern and Western blocs, witnessed the pragmatic deployment of Machiavellian tactics. Superpowers engaged in a geopolitical chess game where strategic alliances, proxy wars, and espionage became integral components of statecraft. Machiavelli's emphasis on the pursuit of national interest, irrespective of moral considerations, resonated in the quarters of power. Leaders such as Richard Nixon, often labeled as a Machiavellian figure, employed real politic in navigating the complexities of international relations. The pursuit of detency with the Soviet Union, opening diplomatic channels with China, and the ruthless pursuit of national interest showcased a Machiavellian understanding of power dynamics. The post-Cold War era witnessed a shift in global dynamics with the emergence of non-state actors and the complexities of a globalized world. Machiavellian principles adapted to these changes, finding expression in the strategies of leaders facing the challenges of a new geopolitical landscape. The media, as a powerful tool in shaping public opinion, became an arena where Machiavellian tactics were employed. The manipulation of narratives, strategic leaks, and calculated image building became integral to the arsenal of modern political leaders. Machiavellian strategies, honed in the Renaissance, found new avenues of expression in the age of mass communication. The rise of populist leaders in various parts of the world also reflects the enduring influence of Machiavellianism. Leaders who master the art of connecting with the masses, understanding their grievances, and leveraging emotions for political gain draw upon the pragmatic insights offered by Machiavelli. The emphasis on effective communication, perception management, and the prioritization of political survival mirrors Machiavellian precepts. In the corporate world, Machiavellianism finds expression in the strategies of business leaders. The cutthroat competition, strategic alliances, and the relentless pursuit of market dominance echo Machiavellian principles adapted to the language of commerce. The corporate battlefield mirrors the political arena with leaders navigating a complex web of relationships and power dynamics. Machiavelli's influence extends seamlessly into the contemporary political landscape, where the complexities of global relations, the rise of non-state actors, and the dynamics of information dissemination present new challenges. The adaptability of Machiavellian principles to diverse arenas, from international relations to corporate boardrooms, underscores the enduring relevance of his political philosophy. As leaders continue to grapple with the intricate dance of power, Machiavelli's legacy remains a guiding force, offering insights into the pragmatic realities of governance in the ever-evolving landscape of the modern world. Ethical Considerations and Criticisms While Machiavellianism has left an indelible mark on the political and strategic landscape, it is not without its ethical controversies and criticisms. The unapologetic embrace of expediency, the prioritization of self-interest, and the endorsement of strategic deception have led to moral qualms surrounding Machiavellian principles. Critics argue that the Machiavellian approach, with its emphasis on the ends justifying the means, undermines ethical considerations in governance. The consequentialist perspective, inherent in Machiavellianism, raises questions about the moral cost of achieving political objectives. The manipulation of public opinion, the sacrifice of moral principles for strategic advantage, and the potential erosion of trust between leaders and their constituents become ethical quandaries in the pursuit of power. Furthermore, the Machiavellian worldview often sidelines the importance of values, integrity, 
and principled leadership. Critics contend that a relentless focus on pragmatic outcomes can lead to a cynical political environment where the moral compass of leadership is compromised for short-term gains. The erosion of ethical standards in governance, they argue, can have far-reaching consequences for the legitimacy and stability of political systems. The ethical dilemmas associated with Machiavellianism extend beyond the realm of politics into broader societal considerations. In the corporate sphere, the ruthless pursuit of profit, often justified through Machiavellian strategies, can result in exploitative practices, disregard for environmental concerns, and a focus on shareholder value at the expense of broader societal welfare. Despite these criticisms, proponents of Machiavellianism argue that it provides a realistic framework for understanding and navigating the complexities of power dynamics. They contend that in a world driven by competition, uncertainty, and conflicting interests, leaders need to be pragmatic and adaptable. The emphasis on political survival, strategic thinking, and the ability to make tough decisions in the face of adversity, they argue, are essential qualities that Machiavellianism promotes. Ethical considerations aside, the enduring relevance of Machiavelli's ideas prompts a critical examination of the balance between pragmatism and morality in governance. In a world where leaders are often confronted with competing demands and the imperative to safeguard national interests, the ethical dimensions of political decision-making remain a topic of ongoing debate. Machiavellianism, as articulated by Nicol Machiavelli in The Prince, has left an enduring legacy in the realms of politics, international relations, and business strategy. The pragmatic insights into power dynamics, the unapologetic focus on self-interest, and the prioritization of effective leadership have resonated through the centuries, finding expression in various forms. While Machiavellianism offers a lens through which to understand the realities of governance and strategic decision-making, its ethical implications and criticisms cannot be overlooked. The tension between pragmatism and morality, the trade-offs inherent in Machiavellian strategies, and the broader societal consequences of prioritizing expediency over principles invite reflection and debate. As societies continue to grapple with the complexities of a rapidly changing world, the lessons of Machiavelli endure, prompting leaders and thinkers to navigate the delicate balance between political realism and ethical considerations. In the intricate dance of power, where the stakes are high and the terrain unpredictable, the legacy of Machiavellianism remains a testament to the enduring challenges and perennial dilemmas of leadership.